Hello guys, it has been a while since I've been on here. I have honestly so many updates, but I wanted to pick up the camera today just to catch up. Um, it's been a long, I guess, week and a half or so, and I feel like my past few videos, honestly, it seems like every other video I'm doing quote unquote updates, but we're going to Hawaii and I don't know for how long or when we'll be back, but I think we're gonna be leaving really soon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Destiny and I do motherhood and lifestyle content here on my channel. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. As always, I would love to have you guys here. But I am just gonna get right into today's intro and kind of just updates on everything, where I've been, how things have been, what exactly has been going on. Um, but we're actually gonna be going to Hawaii in a couple of weeks. Andrew, I'm not gonna get into a lot of details because it's personal and we actually don't even know like what details there is to give, to be honest. Andrew's messaging me right now. Um, anyway, so Andrew's been having some health issues. Um, we don't really know exactly what's been going on, but they're meta backing us to Hawaii here in a couple of weeks so he could see a specialist. And that's basically all I'm gonna say. Um, like I said, we don't really know exactly what's going on, but whenever they don't have an exact doctor here or a certain specialist for anyone to see, they send us to the closest place that there is a specialist. And it just so happens that for us in our situation, his specialist that he needs, the closest person is in Hawaii. So we're going to Hawaii very, very soon. It is kind of like a bittersweet thing because although we're going for somewhat serious issues, um, we get to see family and friends and it's gonna be really nice to be stateside for a while um, and kind of just be back in America. So that's what's going on. I foresee us being gone maybe like a month or two, depending. Um, depending how everything kind of just goes with Andrew, to be honest, like we're not quite sure how long we'll be back. But regardless, we are gonna be back. Japan is home and no matter what basically we are going to be coming back here we just don't know how long we're going to be so um we've kind of been dealing with that i've been working so so much work has been busy and just with everything going on with andrew work and just focusing on like those two things specifically um i haven't really had time to pick up the camera or honestly haven't really wanted to pick up the camera just because my life is a little crazy right now if i'm being honest but I'm really excited to take you guys with us to Hawaii. Um, Andrew and I, if, if he eventually wants me to mention what's going on with him or if he's comfortable with talking about it um, or once we know exactly what's going on, I will let you guys know. But for now, we're going to keep that kind of stuff private um, and only our good friends and family know exactly what's going on. But that's where I've been. Andrew is actually at a doctor's appointment. Today's Saturday, by the way. So... Um, he's actually at a doctor's appointment, so if you see me constantly looking at my phone, that is kind of like who I'm talking to right now. Um, but Andrew had a doctor's appointment this morning, and it's now 3 o'clock, so he has been gone all day. I haven't eaten. I just put Stella down for a nap, so I wanted the chance to enjoy this quiet and start prepping dinner and kind of just catch up with you guys. I do have a huge Lululemon haul that I still want to film. I just haven't had the chance nor have I been motivated to get ready to be honest. Um, and what else? I We actually found out we were going to Hawaii maybe like two weeks ago so I stopped ordering things. I'm really excited to shop stateside, go to Target, Lululemon and just like all of my favorite stores that I haven't been to in honestly a year. We got here November 1st and it's so crazy because we're technically leaving back to the States exactly a year after we got here. So it's just so wild how things work out. But I missed you guys. But I wanted to pick up the camera today and kind of just get back on the roll. Um, but I am going to do a recipe with you guys today because... I haven't done a recipe in a while and I was really, really, really craving Baja fish tacos. So I'm going to show you guys what, what I'm going to make. I used to make these all the time, um, but I'm going to make a avocado crema. I'm going to make kind of like this cabbage. It's almost like, what's it called? Cold slaw. There you go. Um, but I'm going to make like my own version of it, like a really quick version. Um, and then I think I'm going to do roasted sweet potatoes on the side or broccoli. 
I haven't decided, but Andrew hasn't really eaten since he left this morning. So I wanna have dinner ready for him when he gets back home. And yeah, that's basically all that's been going on. Um, I've been doing house stuff today. Um, Stella and I actually went out in town and ran errands. I went to the grocery store, so I have some things to put away. I know behind me is kind of a mess. I have gotten a lot of things in the mail the past couple of weeks though, since I've last been on. So later I'll show you all the new things that I've gotten, skincare, um, my Dolman jacket from Free People finally came in. It's a little oversized, but I think that's the look. I wish it came in an extra, extra small. I got an extra small, but that was the smallest size. Either way, I figure I will um, work it out. Also, like I said, we're gonna be seeing family and friends in Hawaii. So most likely we're gonna be there for my birthday and Andrew's birthday in November, and then also for Thanksgiving. I'm hoping and praying my mom and like my family could come for Thanksgiving. It'd be so nice to see them on a holiday. Um, I'm hoping we're back before Christmas, but honestly, I'm not sure. Oh, also, Andrew and I both got vaccinated. Um, we haven't got unvaccinated yet because honestly we just really don't go anywhere and we feel really really safe here but as soon as we found out that we are going to be traveling a lot and going back to the states it would just be easier and probably the smartest decision to get vaccinated so i actually already have my first dose andrew got his second dose last week and then i'm supposed to get my second dose on or after the 15th so i may or may not get that here or in hawaii but yeah we're vaccinated and i mean honestly the only symptom i had was i was kind of tired the following few days but other than that i felt fine the second dose for Andrew though, um, he was feeling like lightheaded. He kind of had the chills, which was, I know to be expected. So I'm kind of like dreading getting my second dose, but it is what it is, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm obviously really chatty. I've missed you guys so much. And um, like I said, I have videos I need to plan. I'm excited to give you guys some Hawaii content. We haven't been back since Stella's first birthday and like we're excited, we're, ex we're excited to go. Like, although, we have some things to figure out. We're very, very excited to go back to Hawaii. Hawaii is one of our favorite places to be and vacation, and Andrew and I have been there a bunch. So I'm excited to take you guys around to my favorite spots and go shopping and all of that. But I am gonna put some of these groceries away. I'm gonna prep dinner, so I'll kinda show you guys what I do for that recipe. It just sounds so good, so delicious. Also, I look so tired. I slept with my hair wet like two days ago, and this is is just like my natural curl like it looks like a lion's mane but lately i just haven't had the motivation to do my hair or get ready so i've kind of just been letting my hair do this and i mean it looks wild but i think it's kind of cute um but before i put everything away and get to cooking if you guys could say a big big prayer for andrew and just like everything is going to go well at his doctor's appointment and everything like that like i said i don't want to get into details because it is personal but all the prayers would be greatly appreciated. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death. Look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one fin gay song. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young and so are we, baby The night is young, so let's have some fun If you love me right, yeah This could be the summer of our lives now, honey Give it to me like you know you should now, baby This could be the summer of our lives 
just finished making the slaw and the crema. The crema recipe I followed was more of like, uh, what's it called? Kind of like a guac in a way. Either way, it still tasted really good. Um, but I think on the side, I'm gonna roast some, oh no, it has mold. I just bought these. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I think on the side, I'm gonna roast, I was gonna roast some squash and some broccoli. But I think now I'm just going to pan sear some broccoli. Oop, there you go. I think now I'm just going to pan sear some broccoli and garlic and onion. And then kind of just do the tacos and veggies because that sounds really good. Maybe I'll actually throw in... Where is it? You guys, I'm such a mess lately. My mind has been... What's the word? Not lost, but like I have a million things on my mind lately. So I'll be in the middle of doing something and I've been forgetting what I'm doing or like what I'm grabbing or where something is at when I just like did that thing or like I know exactly what I'm doing. Does that make any sense at all? I, I don't even know if I'm making sense. But anyways, I got some sweet potatoes. So I think maybe I will do roasted sweet potato and broccoli. So I am gonna turn the oven back on. <laughs> See, I'm like so indecisive these days. Also, I'm watching the dad channel podcast. If you don't follow him, definitely follow him. But I've been following the Gabby Petito case, which I'm sure so many of us or so many of you have been following. But if you live under a rock or you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, just look it up because there's so many like factors to this case. Basically, this girl's fiance allegedly murdered her, left her in the middle of nowhere, came back home in her van. Long story short, he's on the run. He's been on the run for like a good week, week and a half, and they still have not found the guy. And this whole story is so crazy. So the dad channel, the doubt, so the dad challenge podcast covers all the latest updates. So it's actually nice having one person to go to and excuse me, <laughs> it's nice to have one person to go to and just kind of get all the updates instead of having to like go to so many different resources. But I've been keeping up with that, so that's actually what I've been watching as I was cooking because he did a new update today, but we've been running errands and just busy so far today, so I haven't had the chance to watch it yet, so I'm currently watching that now. Um, it is, what time is it? Stella went down at like 2.20, oh, it's 3.20, so she's been down for an hour, um, and today's kind of like going by not fast but not slow but i think when andrew gets home he said he's starving we're gonna eat dinner and probably hang out outside a lot of people in our neighborhood decorated for halloween and i kind of want to see like take stella on a walk because every time we drive by someone's house and they have halloween decorations she always says like ghost or pumpkin or halloween or something so i think tonight we'll probably take a family walk if andrew's up to it and then go look at halloween lights and then what else I feel like there's something else they wanted to do. I keep on forgetting. I actually haven't had coffee all day until like one o'clock. I did wake up this morning and go to the gym and I had a really great gym session. The gym always just gives me so much like mental clarity and puts me in the best headspace. I've actually been getting a lot of um, like comments or DMs asking if I am gonna share like my fitness routine and the stuff that I've been eating and just like my meal prep stuff like that. If I'm being honest, you guys, though, I've been eating kind of bad. No, no, no. I've been eating good, but snacking bad. Um, Sophia just sent us a few things from Trader Joe's as she always does. And some of those things were like chocolates and like cake mix and like all these delicious goodies from back home. But therefore, I've been eating all of the, all of those delicious goodies from back home. But the other day, I made the cake mix and I shared with our neighbors. So I felt less guilty because there's only three of us so we're all not going to finish like a whole cake um but anyways i've been eating kind of bad so the past couple of days i've been trying to get like back on track and so far so good um and that's kind of all where i've been spending my extra time honestly it's like spending time with andrew and stella doing a lot of self-care and like i said i have a lot of ideas and video ideas for my channel and instagram and all these things but i feel like so many things have been happening lately it's hard to focus on those things when other things take precedence in my life if that makes sense and are more important so hopefully things go back I mean, honestly, we're going to Hawaii, so you guys will see a lot of fun content there. But like I said, my life has just been so busy lately. And I know a lot of people say that, like, oh, my life's been so busy and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, truthfully, my life has just been so busy 
like by the time I have time to like relax and chill, especially during the week, it's like 30 minutes until bedtime and like I have no time for myself like essentially. So anyways, this is a long ramble, but I'm going to finish watching the dad challenge podcast. So if you're not subscribed to him, I highly recommend his channel. He does a lot of like anti MLM. Um, he actually does a lot of anti family vloggers and, I, and it's kind of funny. Because I don't really consider us like a family vlogger. Because if you guys haven't noticed, I really don't share and I really don't share Stella, especially maybe like a few clips here and there, or like Andrew. Like it's mostly like me and my channel, and I update you guys on like what you, what we've been up to, like our life, things like that. But anyways, his content is just funny, and he's super hilarious. So definitely check him out. But I'm gonna finish doing a few things around here, watching that video, and then obviously I'll show you guys how dinner is looking. But like I said, I'm so starving and i haven't had baja tacos or fish tacos oh, sorry i thought i saw a spider it wasn't um by the way we've been finding like little spiders in our house so that's how you know it's fall um but anyways i haven't had baja fish tacos in so so long i'm so excited for dinner tonight <laughs> I think we have done it all She knows me in and out Love of a different kind But we still have no control Alright guys, it is a little later. It's now 426. Stella is up. We were outside in the front hanging out with our neighbors. Um, and Andrew called me and asked if I could go pick him up. He did so he took his car to his doctor's appointment and then they had to transfer him like out in town for like a certain test they couldn't do here um so anyways his ride like left kind of in a way so um okay thank you yeah his ride left so i'm gonna go pick him up it's only right here out in town take him back to his car and then we're gonna have dinner and then tonight after dinner if i'm just up for it because i know he's had like a really long day um, we'll go on a walk to go look at Halloween lights, but I don't know if I'm going to really film much for the rest of the day because like I said, Andrew's been gone all day and I kind of just want to be present with him. But if anything, I'll pick up um, the vlog tomorrow. But yeah, life has just been so weird and hectic lately that it's like I'm trying to film when I can, but also be present in like certain situations. I'm just trying to film when I can, when feels right. and. Like I said, we didn't see Andrew all day today, so I may or may not pick up the camera for the rest of the day. So if I don't see you guys later, I will show you guys how dinner came out. Um, but if anything, I'll pick up the 